Hey, what's going on guys? Jerebe here and today we're back with another video. Now this video was recommended to me by Elena Raja, Raja, uh, right here, yeah. uh, telling me to react to Thomas Sanders' new song. Uh, I believe it's this one, uh, a gay Disney Prince musical parody. Now, now that I think about it, there hasn't been a gay Disney Prince. Well, <laughs> obviously, since uh, Disney was made in the black and white era where something like that was frowned upon or shamed and yeah i could kind of understand why since it would put disney on blast and make it extremely controversial at the time which is something a company does not want but now in today's century nobody cares i mean it we uh it's it's good and all that <laughs> hold on, let me let me rephrase that it's good and all that that you're coming out and that you're able to be yourself but I think it should be treated like any other relationship. Like, oh, you got a girlfriend. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you got a boyfriend. Oh, that's cool. You know what I mean? Like, to the point where, oh, okay, you're gay. Well, that's cool. We, we still accept you and all. So that, that's what I'm trying to say, you know? But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I really hope I didn't step in the hot water doing that. I, <laughs> the internet is uh, extremely sensitive in a few things, but whatever happens, happens. Burn that bridge when I get there. But hey, maybe Disney should uh, make a gay prince. I mean, I think it would be pretty cool. I mean, to be honest, I don't think it should really change that much of the movie's plot. Because if the plot is centered around... Because if the plot is centered around them being gay, I don't think that's sending a good message. Like, the movie shouldn't be about them being gay. It should be about them being them. Like... Because there are so many times where being gay is a personality trait. And that is kind of getting annoying to me. And I just want to see a character that's actually a character. Like, their sexuality shouldn't change the story at all. It should be a character who also happens to be gay. You know? Just take Hercules. I think he was bisexual. According to the Greek mythology books. And, like, not, not the Disney movie, but, like, the Greek... <laughs> uh... According to all the Greek history, or Roman history, that uh, they, they were all bisexual. That men liked men and women, and women liked women and men. Since that was, like, the norms for their society. So I'm thinking Hercules was bisexual, uh, <laughs> canon-wise, in the history-wise is what I mean. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm probably talking up a storm, and you're, you just probably want to see me watch the video, so... I'm going to get on that. I'm going to give you my thoughts on it at the end, as always. So let's get our headphones on and let's get watching. In three, two, one, let's react. Nice. <laughs> Most kids walked through life, but I sang and danced. I believed I was Tarzan, I never wore pants. Excuse me? Uh oh. <laughs> Everyone around me could see that Disney meant everything. And as I grew up, Disney did too. They bought every franchise from here to Batu. Look at their assets, you'll see. Damn. They bought everything. Yep. They've got bachelors and quiz shows aplenty. I'm a confirmed bachelor. They've got Groot and Black Panther and Thor. And Captain America. And Captain America's ass. Hmm. I mean, hey, that's America's ass, ass, all right? <laughs> How about 20? And several TV shows. And a theme park. Okay, yeah. I know. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. I mean, it's kind of a big deal since they're monopolizing so many companies, which is that. So. Prince. With footwork so thrilling, I slay without killing a rich boy who still loves to work. A man who spills tea, not the blood of enemies. Disney, don't shoot so straight. You're in the musical scene. Time to toss out the princess and bring in a queen. 
Every prince in the past Just straight vanilla Let's add rainbow sprinkles And a shot of tequila A gay guy whose gaze would fit clean On a three dollar bill A prince who will put every woman at ease Cause I won't try and kiss them while they are asleep A guy who likes <laughs> guys who is still human Good point in his film. Yes, I want a gay Disney Prince. Disney gets some bad bitches. Try the gay stuff, it's delicious. Please give us more than this bullshit. Yeah, that's a bit screwy. Makes me say look for we. Put me in a film. Gee, that would be swell. I'm Peter Pansexual. No, you're Twinker Bell. It's just breeders in theaters. I can't help but belt. Who? That prince I see Very straight Unlike me A whole new world A bedazzling place You yearn to view I'd be so gay up here It's crystal clear <laughs> Bless my hole Twerking on a pole Okay, okay. And there's Hercules I'm sorry Okay I got carried away That's on me if only You're making a good emotional I statement, and you ruined it. <laughs> early years, I might have seen less weird to my non-queer peers, but mature into parents, understanding and warm, knowing hetero ever after doesn't have to be the norm. If they'd have seen someone like me, a gay Disney prince. They've got bachelors and quiz shows of plenty. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Bound to happen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this, this is so sexual. Okay. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Dude, my family's here. Come on. How is it difficult to pull down a sign? All of your face, all of your hair, yeah. That's great. All right, right. wow, it tastes so good. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm guessing they had a lot of sign trouble on that video. I think they got their point across. <laughs> but that kind of puts Disney in a tricky situation because if they're going to do the classic uh, save the princess story where the prince rides off to go rescue the princess, you know that story? <laughs> I think that it would be quite difficult since it would be the prince saving another prince, which is kind of contradictory on itself. I really hope I'm using that word right. Because in a Disney movie or like in or in like in real life, a prince should be able to handle himself in any situation since he is in fact, going to run an entire kingdom, he should be able to fight every battle, be able to solve any problem. He should be able to see his way out of any solution. Because if he can't do that, then he's going to have a really tough time running that kingdom and dealing with people who want to uh, take away his throne and just try to destroy the village or kingdom of which he rules. I mean... I guess they could do like a two princes, two princes that are also best friends. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I think I got the plot, I think I got the plot. Uh, two princes uh, that are ruling small kingdoms and this uh, giant kingdom that's ruled by, I don't know, 
a, a, an evil king, queen, something like that, that's trying to take over their kingdoms. So they have to work together in order to slay the king or slay the other... Okay, no, never mind. I lost it. I lost it. I don't have anything. I got nothing. They could slay a dragon together? I... <laughs> I'm having a tough time trying to figure out a plot because I don't know if it is just me and my simple dumb dumb brain, but I just, I don't know. If you guys have a plot that can involve two princes working together and slowly falling in love with each other, please write that down, something in the comments below, because that would really give me hope <laughs> that it's possible because I'm not a writer. I'm not that smart. It's just... I think there's professionals out there that could do way better than me. <laughs> All right, uh, I think I pretty much said everything I need to say. But yeah, if you guys want to see the original video, I'll leave a link to the description down below as always. If you have any reaction requests whatsoever, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. I'll try to get to it as fast as I can. And um, yeah, hope you guys are having a good day. Later.